hello you guys it's a new week which means it's a new video and today's video is a little bit of what you guys typically don't see a not so good machine a not so good location that we're gonna flip we are gonna do good with it we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna make it better but we want to show you guys the before and the after of this machine we got it we found it on offer up and you guys when we came to look at it it's basically like an abandoned machine it is so dirty like I'm not exaggerating how dusty it is you can see the compressor has not been cleaned you can see cans have popped inside and they have not been cleaned it's a mess it's really really gross we're gonna do our best to clean it here on location because we don't want to pull it out and it's not working it has a can that is stuck I'm gonna go inside right now and show you guys there's a can literally stuck in there and it's I don't know how we're gonna get it out I'm not putting my hands in there Ale is actually gonna you know be the one to pull that can out they kind of told us what we have to do to pull it out without getting hurt because you can get hurt they literally told us be careful because if you jam your fingers it's gonna hurt so this is a little bit scary because we've never had this happen in any of our machines okay you guys we already have I don't know more than 20 machines and we've never had this issue happen this is like an issue we have not dealt with I'm gonna show you guys like how it actually is but it's gonna be a process I'm gonna document it all so you guys can see and at the end we'll show you guys how it looks it's gonna look a lot better once we're all done with it and let's go inside Okay, so here is the machine. It's it has this little sign on there and it's not it's not the prettiest, right baby? We're gonna get started on the jam. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know worst time. I think we should start with the worst. So I don't I don't think you guys can do you see the um Look at this. So this is how the sodas are supposed to lay, right? The cans lay. This one, look at this. Hold on, let the camera focus. It's literally, there we go. See that? It's, it's standing, it's stuck in between. So we have to pull it out. And the other ones are fine. That is like the only jam, but because that jam is going on, obviously the suction is not working. This is what I mean how dirty it is. This is all sticky, like if you guys would touch it, it's nasty, dirty. This is so dirty, dirty. Look at this down here, it's so disgusting. Look at this. It's really nasty, not pretty. Look at that probably has been stuck there for years. Nasty. So this machine needs a lot of love today. We don't even know where we're gonna start. First things first, I think, is to get that can out. Yeah, well, the first thing, I removed the bubble. Unplug it. Mm -hmm. This is a DC narco, so I removed the bubble right here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, right now, I'm gonna open this. He's gonna take that off. We came with our tools today because we are gonna need to remove the part. It's really important if you guys have vending machines, um, have a little toolkit where you can always carry around because 
you're always going to need a screwdriver or little things here and there. So we always carry like basic stuff. Location. Like it's in a really good location, a lot of people traffic. And so I can say the Push here. Uh huh. And move this a little bit. Kind of wiggling. Yeah, so he's saying here you have to push it out. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, it's moving. Yeah. Are you supposed to pull it up or down? Up. Oh, be careful. Oh, it came out so easy. Yay. I make it easy. He did it, man. <laughs> they made it sound so scary. Like, poor kid. Get un poquito, bro. No, I'm okay. No. You do it. No. No. <laughs> That's probably been open for, I don't know. Oh, actually, when we looked at it, it popped. <laughs> Guys, this machine has been like just not taken care of and it makes me so mad because it's such a good location such a good location like so many people come into this hardware store and buy things and especially here in Arizona it's really really hot and anybody that's coming from outside and walks by this like they're thirsty so we're also going to be changing the selections on here we're going to put new labels we're going to put new selections we are just gonna make it better the workers already got like excited they said finally somebody's gonna service that machine so that's the reason why we don't want to pull it out and do it anywhere else we're just gonna service it here hey you guys okay you guys three hours later because we had a little hiccup so we were here doing the machine we were cleaning it we were getting it all set up and we wanted to test it out and the coin mac was not working so we have to take out the coin mac completely take out the coin mac take it to another place where we get all our stuff get another coin mac go buy water because we need to have water here so we bought some Dasani water to put in the machine and it's been it's been a long day we were here Hi. almost for three hours this like since we got here in the morning we left you know it's been like a couple hours and now we're back and we got to finish this soon because the shop is gonna close so we're stressing now because we really want to leave it done and ready you guys this is like this is a location that we haven't really invested much in like we're not gonna do a lot to get it going that's why we're just trying to spend time and show it some love and clean it and like not like a professional you know heavy cleaning but leaving it at least enough so that it looks good and um we just want to do that we want to see how the machine does in this location we want to see like how much money this location is going to bring in if it does good then we will maybe put a better machine here in the future because this is a single priced machine. So all our machines are actually multi-priced. This is the only one we have that's single price. Mm. Well, second one, we have one more. That's right, we have two. But we don't like that because when you have multi-price, you can put monsters, Gatorades, you can put different prices. In these machines, everything has to be single price. So you can't have a variety of options, but He's setting that up really quick. He's gonna set the coin mech, plug it in. Hopefully it has no issues because we just paid for it. And he just put the lights in because we didn't have the lights. So he put those lights in. And that's basically it, you guys. This location, hopefully it does really good. And the machine is actually really, really nice. When I first saw it, I was not happy with it. I was like, poor thing, like it didn't look good. but. 
See, the labels are almost on there. Not bad, you guys. We'll come back in a little bit so you guys can see how it's all done. We're gonna finish it up, get it all filled. And then we will show you guys also, if you haven't already, please, 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 please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this machine? What do you think of this location? Do you think it's gonna do good? Let us know. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys, that's it. We are done, finally, this machine. Took a while, it was a little bit of a hassle. We were pressured here because they're gonna close, they're waiting for us, but it's done. So much better. The venting. That is it for today's video, you guys. We will catch you guys up. We will let you know how this machine does. We will let you know if we're gonna put a new machine. And or if we're gonna leave it here. Who knows? Maybe it's gonna do good and we don't even have to bring a new machine in. We set all the prices at a dollar. So it should be good. I think that with the selections on there, everything on there, we're just adding the finished label real quick. But with all the selections on there, I think everything is really, really good. And due to like the, you know, coin shortage going on, it's actually better to set your prices like at a price. So $1, $2. So everything here is $1. And look at that. Nice and set up. That is it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.